Global Grooves is producing a new carnival presentation for the Jubilee pageant in London, which is called A Sharing of Gifts. And the idea of that project is to celebrate all of the different cultures and all of the diversity of Greater Manchester and reflect that back in music, dance, visual arts and enable participants from across the 10 Greater Manchester districts to animate all of that work on the streets. We wanted to capture the idea of somebody's culture and somebody's philosophy being a gift that you could give to somebody else. Working on this project are over 20 professional artists from all different backgrounds and all different disciplines. Many of those are from Greater Manchester and many of those have come through Global Groove's previous work such as our Future Leaders Leadership Programme and our Creating Carnival Artist Development Programmes. I think it's fair to say that this is one of Global Groove's biggest projects yet, especially with the number of people that we're working with, not only kind of in terms of the number of participants but also the number of artists and creatives, loads of people getting stuck in and from all over Greater Manchester as well. So that's been a really interesting thing, having opportunities to connect in all of the 10 boroughs and districts in Greater Manchester, which we've not really had the opportunity to do before. So it's really exciting. So the visual element, we're celebrating what it is to be Mancunian and all the different cultures that have made Manchester what it is. Right at the very front is going to be led by our Queen character, played by Cheddar Gorgeous, who is a famous drag queen in Manchester. And she's going to be on a big ship and it's just that journey, not just as a queen, but our journeys throughout our lives. We have four puppets. One is representing Africa. We have a puppet that is Padmini, who is an Indian puppet. And there'll be a Caribbean puppet as well. And then there's also gonna be basically a Madfrit Manchester puppet. So there's that section right at the front and then you've got a whole blocko. So like 60 brass, 40 drummers, 10 dancers in trousers, and then 20 dancers in big crinolines. And that whole color scheme is inspired by Trooping of the Color. Then we have our three fan dresses, which represent the three puppets at the front, and they've been designed by three different artists. And then right behind that is gonna be 50 silk flags, which are gonna be painted in different communities. But those flags are gonna be about what it is to be in those communities and, and celebrating being in Manchester. That's it, she parade, in a nutshell. <laughs> it's big, 200 people, it's a lot. I am building, well, I'm building with a team. We're building the Spirit of Courage, who is the lead queen piece at the front of the procession. So this is a really exciting piece because um, there are lots of different elements in the making. It's on wheels and it's got a steering system, so there'll be somebody driving underneath. So that's made by Mike Patterson, who's making it in Lewis. Um, a horse is coming from Tony in London. Rowan, who's building our backpack and our mermaid's tails. Emily and her wonderful silks. Uh, these will be made, I think, in the sewing department. We are all part of delivering this. You know, it's not just not just me. There's a huge team, and it's um, just working with everyone's best skills, I suppose. So these waves, we're building them right now. They're polystyrene sculptures, and then we're going to fiberglass each one, and then they will be attached onto the base. We also thought it would be easier to sort of sculpt it organically as a whole piece. So now we can just start carving into it and bringing out the detail in the wave. Um, so yeah, it's going to get very messy. <laughs> I've been asked to decorate some of the elements of the Queen's cart. I've also been asked to design um, one of the large fan costumes, um, the African fan costume. And also I did some drawings of the parade lineup. 
So I'm working on half of the mermaid tail at the moment. So we've wrapped a load of the wire. We've got some foam to kind of bulk out bits and pick out the shape and we're going to add loads of really nice scales. We've got loads of like mermaidy fabrics that will be adding nice scales. So Rowan this week has made both of the mermaid tails and she's also been with the future leaders and um, they've been supporting her to make a backpack piece that's kind of um, influenced by astrolabes and like universe, stars, moons. I'm involved in the visual arts of future leaders and we've managed to get involved into the Jubilee, which I think is a great opportunity for all of us. It feels almost unreal. I'm in a, such a small town and create art and then millions of people can see it. So we've got 10 new makes for community dancers. There's 10 makes for the dance troupe and 10 makes for the drummers. So it is a large number of people, that's why my head is spinning a little bit. This is for the community dancers, so these are dancers who are going to come from the community. So they're going to be led by Bridget and then we've got another dance troupe which is led by Adriana and they've got some wide leg pants, everything flares out. And then these are the costumes for the drummers. Those headdresses as well, they're being made by other groups of people and there will be other little bits and pieces, but the first step that we've got to do is make the base costumes. So there's going to be dancers from the community wearing this costume and we've got several layers to it, so the idea is that in future we'll be able to take off these, all these different layers and use them in different ways. This is made of 10 turquoise panels and 10 hand batik panels. So all the silk and all the muslin that's used for this layer has been hand dyed and hand painted here. So it's really nice because we've got everything being done, you know, in the, under the same roof. I would definitely say this is Global Group's biggest production, which means that 200 people need dressing, need costumes, need puppets, and it's just not possible without volunteers. They are from a really diverse range of backgrounds, so we've got people who are students, we've got people who have studied and have graduated, we've got people who've retired. There's so many talented people who, who come in and out of Kabasa and the Vale and Global Grooves. I'm blown away by it, really. I've never been part of a project of this scale before, or anything like this, really. Um, and it's been a wonderful opportunity to learn so many things. So many people have been a part of this process, so it feels fantastic to be a part of that. Even without the idea of it being something which is going to be on the TV and shown all around the world, just actually seeing live things developing and people growing in their skills and their confidence, you know, there's something joyful that's happening here. It's very, very special. So we're in Withinshaw working with a local youth group and we are painting some flags that have been designed at the Vale. We worked with the community group to come up with the designs of several flags. So we're making about 40 to 50 flags in total along with a group in Oldham as well. And we did creative writing and poetry workshops with them at the start of the project. And the aim of it was to get the community group's voices involved in it. And then these were translated into designs which they're gonna wax and paint themselves and then they're going to carry the flags in the parade too so they really are involved from beginning to end in this project. I feel quite proud of it, like not just of myself but of everybody here that's like spent the time to do it and I never really thought I'd be part of something this big. I was like so excited when I found out I was just ready to do it. I think it's quite important to show the arts of Manchester and to just show the world basically what Manchester's about. Usually when, when you see things about England it's usually just like London and 
it feels really cool because not many people know about like the parts of Greater Manchester so it feels really amazing to like be a part of that and represent like not just the north but like Oldham as well. We've made all these flags, we've done all of it, just us, so it feels really cool to take that and like to show to loads and loads of people. I think one of the most exciting things of all about this is the cultural heritage of the North and, and the passion of the North. Um, it's really important that it's part of a parade that is going to be seen by the whole world. We've got immense talent here. I mean, the, the young people have got so much passion, but also pride. You know, they're very proud of who they are. We're all proud in the North of who we are. And I think it's nice that we're able to celebrate that through this. It's, it's a really big achievement. Before we came here, I was a bit nervous, but the thing is, once we all arrived, the energy has been out of this world. We've got drums, we've got brass, we've got dancers, and so right now we're currently in the rehearsals from amazing choreographies called Adriana and Bridget. What's so amazing about all this is there's people from all over, you know, to represent every area, and I just feel so grateful and thankful that I'm able to represent Bolton because this is going to be a huge audience. It's going to be around 1.5 billion. So no pressure. 1.5 billion people. What? <laughs> so I'm part of the Prussianists and we have been doing four pieces. Uh, we did three yesterday. We've just started the first one today. I think we're getting pretty good at it. Leading us is Emma Marsh. She's amazing. Uh, I've known her from a band called Jubicana. I've been in for about five years. So it's really nice to see her again and come together. She's amazing. Yeah, it's, re it's really cool because there's loads of different age ranges. People are like 12 all the way up to the 40s. So it's really cool to be able to come together at a variety of different ages and skill levels. So this weekend at the Vale, we've been the brass band playing for the Warlow Academy Youth Brass Band. It's been amazing because when you play it alone as just a band, it always feels like there's something missing. Then when you play it with the percussion and the dancers are there, it just adds so much more energy to it. So Jack's the composer of the pieces we're playing at the Jubilee. He's just got so much knowledge he passes on to us, so it's just been great. I'm very excited to see next weekend because it's the first time we'll all be doing it together in like a parade formation, so it'll be a really great thing to do. Today is our final rehearsal, which is the dressing rehearsal. All of us, 250, practicing together. I'm doing one of the sections of the dancer section, which is wearing trousers, so we're going to be focused more on the energy and the, the strong movements. And then my dance partner, Bridget, is going to be doing the other section, 20 dancers wearing the big skirts. My background is Afro-Brazilian dance. That's where me and Bridget got these ideas from. So we're going to see through our carnival, throughout costumes and puppets and the dance, a lot of the African influence, the Odishas. Each Orisha represents a different element of nature. My Orisha is Ogun, representing um, strong. They had a sword, a warrior, cutting through, open the way, where Bridget's going to be the Oshun, which is the love, the river of life, the movement, the flow, combined the energy, I think it's going to be amazing. So the dancers that I've worked with in the Crinolins have come from all different backgrounds. Some are familiar with Indian dancing, African dancing, who have dedicated their time to learn, rehearse and perform this now. That in itself has been real community because we really have worked so hard together. So Manchester's got a really diverse music scene as well, underground and poppy. So it's really cool to bring a new type of music into the Manchester scene. I've been keeping in mind certain places that we want to nod our heads to within the music. We've got Caribbean rhythms in there, we've got Afro-inspired rhythms in there, we've got South Asian drums and rhythms in there. So what was really important from the offset for us was to present some music that is from Manchester. And so in the four pieces that we will be parading, we have some music from Simply Red, we have some music from a wonderful DJ called Mr. Scruff and also a classic from the Happy Mondays. Added to that, we've got a composition from myself and Emma. 
from the beginning it's bizarre that it starts off just me writing a tiny little piece in a bedroom on my own and then we end up with these 200 people walking down the street doing it. Something quite magical. Seeing everything come together for the first time, I think it was almost a bit like surreal. I've kind of been observing and admiring everyone working so hard in the studio and seeing loads of names on a list of people who are going to be joining us and not really knowing who they are. It's just been a bit like a dream, <laughs> but now it's reality and we're all here together and feeling that energy in the room and sharing it together. I think we've bottled it now, ready to take to London. Before this morning, not everybody in this space had ever met before. And by the end of the day, we had a new carnival family, a carnival community, a new beautiful community, working together in unison, all sharing energy and all sharing something really special together they never would have dreamt of doing six months ago. And we can really feel now how amazing it's going to be in London. Yeah, London is going to be gifted with some serious energy. It's coming to you. <laughs>really difficult to kind of describe what's important about it and why we're we doing what we're doing because Carnival and the kind of work that we're producing is actually a movement rather than just a project. The people that are involved in it are all involved in it for their own reasons whether that's feeding their creative thirst or if it's because they want to explore new skills and new ideas and new cultures or maybe they just want to dance or maybe they're really, really just keen on performing and showing off in front of huge audiences or perhaps there's a political message they want to get across in their art. All of those different reasons are the reasons why this project exists. So each individual will have a different story to tell, a different reason why they're involved. But they're all part of the same community and they're all part of the same movement, moving in the same direction together. And that's what makes projects like this really special.